the living room, this room wiring on one. So this is the end. We've got 20 amp breakers, so I used 14 too. So that one was there. We added that one, that one, that one. That one was there. Now, yeah, I messed up my phone. That one, where's my finger? And then, this is the end, or the big lead, and it goes under the floor, over to that junction box back there. Okay, that's on one breaker. I did the calculations on it, so that's not too many. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on one 20 amp breaker. And there's no continuous load on any of these, unless you count the television. The kitchen is gonna be on a separate. Separate breaker. There's gonna be one there an outlet, one with that teeny tiny red X is, one right there, and then I'm gonna put one there. This one's already here for the refrigerator. So I've got a line, it's not connected yet, run from that gang box all the way under the floor, well, through the joists, all the way out to the junction box. Then, the range wire, that little pink spot right there, is the range. And I did the same thing. I ran it through holes in the joist, all the way out to the junction box. So that's been done. It's not connected, but it's run. And then in the dark bedroom, <laughs> get this. All right, here, was the outlet there's the floor so there was one here but it runs up so i'm leaving that one that was the only other outlet in the whole room except that that one for the air conditioner one right there don't ask me why and then another one up in the air so I finally figured out, oh, what will we use that for? Well, when you go in the bathroom, there it's dark, I know. Not a single solitary outlet anywhere in this bathroom. So what they did, I guess, was plug their blow dryer in right here and come to the mirror and blow dry their hair, I, I don't know. But I'm gonna put one in, I know you can't see, right here to the left. So I pulled all that wire yesterday. Now, when we pulled up the rotten wood in this room, it was really bad. Ow. These joists were 24, 25 or 26 inches on center. Oh yeah, I forgot the wiring. So I added a one here, outlet there, outlet there, and an outlet there. And I just went ahead and kept those two that were over here. So I got all that. While room. I was letting my phone charge, I worked on this box a little bit. And a friend of mine, this setup is, is weird. This is a junction box and it goes outside and around to this wall. Problem I'm having is I need another line to be run through there. So he ran out of time today, but we did figure out that this living room here needs to go there. This needs to come off and then this one needs to be connected to here. So that's what I'm going to do next.
And then I'm going to wait for the electrician to get here to finish the rest of it because even with the range, I'm going to wait for that, wait for the electrician to get here. So, but I wanted to get these off the floor so that I can get some insulation that finally came today in. I put a little bit of wood down just to have a place to walk and I can move it around as I need to for the insulation. So, and I've got my brackets semi ready for clamping them down. I made sure that the top was not any higher than these furring strips here. And then I've got another one down there. So these are cut here and here. So they're dead. I wanna make a note that everything in here on a piece of tape and here and here that this is all dead and abandoned in the wall it will not come out so that the next person that may have to do some work will know those are abandoned I'm gonna find it <laughs> 